collective of Taurus. This is Kim here to do your reading for the next 48 hours or really whenever it resonates with you. So um, then we're going to start off with the Zen Tarot, a little bit different than regular tarot. Um, so Taurus, thanks for subscribing. If you're interested in a private reading, I'm doing those for donation, per donations. Um, just look in the description box below. And we're going to get started with the Zen Tarot doing a, a spread that's in their book called the Diamond Spread. <sighs> Deep breath. Okay, so bringing in Taurus's spirit guides, angels, higher self, higher power. Let's get messages that are for their greater good only the sign of Taurus. Taurus, what's going on? What's going on? Give me some good news. I love relaying good news. It's my favorite. All right. And the major arcana are completely different, so don't try to even match. It's not gonna, you're not, not gonna be able to real well. Book doesn't even have it what it corresponds with. So this is a total new experience. Taurus, what is the issue card? The card in the middle of the diamond spread is the issue. Oh, beautiful. See, I told you I love relaying good news. And this is certainly relaying good news. This is ripeness. This card really does correspond to the nine of pentacles. They don't all, this is the nine of rainbows, but it means that your harvest is like almost, it's ready to pick. You're ready to harvest. You may be running into some money. This may be an inheritance or a windfall or even a win for you, Taurus. This is big. So what you don't see coming is right here. So what you don't see coming, wow. <laughs> what you don't see coming is, wow. The Rebel, another major arcana, and then Four of Cups, which in this deck means turning in. Turning within, not without. Turning within for answers. Turning inside. Listening to yourself. Not letting your thoughts chain you down, your conditioning. Not letting labels or anything like that affect this is being really free finally from feeling like you're chained down to either your thinking or something that had you something that had you almost in double energy but this is like the reverse if it was the reverse getting out of some kind of bondage finding this peace within finding peace within and breaking chains breaking chains what is this card? It has to do with what's coming forward that you should know about. All right, Taurus, what do we have? We have sharing. This is the queen of, queen of wands, if you want to say it. It's the queen of um, action. All about sharing. She has a lot, and this might be about somebody sharing their wealth with you sharing their skills with you, sharing their know-how with you, coming out of um, anxiety and insomnia. We're coming out of it with the sorrow turned in reverse. So sharing with the queen of wands and coming out of a particularly hard time. All right, what is spirit advice for you? This could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, by the way. So what is spirit advice? All right, here's the advice. Advice is stop clinging on to the past. This is also that five of cups energy. So go inside, but release this past. Release the past energy or integrate it and move on because you're here for a brand new adventure with the page of rainbows or page of pentacles coming in. This is word on your pentacles, word on this. You're about to go through a major adventure, and maybe it's with this person. Then you have the Empress feeling energy, the three, creativity. Ooh, maybe that's the adventure. Maybe you're really going to create something wild here. Fruitful. Whatever venture she takes on, she's successful. We could have a child earth sign. 
advice is to get away from the past, stop clinging to the past, take uh, the universe up on this offer and create something. Be really creative. Come from your heart when you're creating. Create something that it could make money, but you're really just doing it for you. All right, what is the projected outcome? Whoa, wow. Wow, that's a powerful card. This is like the Ace of Wands. It's called the Source. This is all of the creative energy that is. All that is, this is the creative energy of all that is. Pretty big statement, Taurus. Pretty big statement. Pretty big outcome to have to handle, but you can do it. Adventure and passion in this new beginning. You may feel like holding on to some things with the four of rainbows. And in the end, you might. You might be holding on to some things because of an emotional attachment. But we're going to have to trust this offer, this new passionate beginning. We're going to have to trust it. It's from the divine and it's here to bring you a lot of emotional happiness and stability. Let's see what the tarot has to say to you, Taurus. What does the tarot have to say to Taurus? Beautiful spread. Beautiful spread. By the way, that top left card, trust, is like the Knight of Cups. But I don't read them exactly the same as the other tarot. Because I learned them different. Wow. Confirming. Look, that Ace of Wands confirming. Maybe doing it with a partner. Maybe doing this with a partner. Somebody may have done... This might be the clinging to the past. The Seven of Swords energy. Lying, cheating, stealing. There may be something in the past with that. Either we're integrating and moving on or we're letting go of the past. Ace of Wands. Your... Um, your pentacles, this windfall, it's coming from source. It's coming from divine inspiration. And then look, Queen of Wands. This is Queen of Wands too. Two Queen of Wands. Both here sharing, caring, and building something great. Coming at you. King of Pentacles. This might be you, Taurus. This is, you know, the person that is sitting on their throne with their house in check. They have everything maintained. So the maintenance on the house is, you know, taken care of. Every bill is always paid. And this person does like their luxury items. Don't get him wrong. But he also is a really good businessman. That might be why he wants to save money. <laughs> And then on the creativity, we had the hanged man. There may be something that you're waiting on at this moment. Or maybe you're just hanging in there, not creating yet. And Spirit's like, "Why? how long are you going to hang in there? Are you going to start creating? I think they're wanting you to create something um, magical almost. All right, Taurus, let's get you some wisdom from the Oracle cards. Oh, loyal heart. I think definitely somebody's either going along with you or there is a really good partnership coming up. Ooh. A change in the wind, which is not a bad card. It's not a storm or anything like that. It's simply a change in the wind. And if you have Libra in your chart, then it's very strong because this is about balance. You may be moving, moving, or someone near you may be moving. Wow, we got a lot of cards, but we'll take it. Someone feeling like they don't fit in. Maybe once you've changed your vibrations and, you know, after you've turned in and you're a little bit different, maybe you're a different type of person than you used to be and you might not get along with the people you used to get along with. You have a loyal heart, so I think maybe there's somebody you're being true to just because it's part of your value system. A change in the wind. No place like home. Definitely a homebody. We have chaos and conflict. I don't know. Something is making people upset. Something's making others upset. 
we're gonna find out what is making people upset. We need to strategize on something that we're gonna do that's very creative. We need to make a strategy up for something that we're gonna do that's really creative because your manifestation wants to come. It's exchanging gifts almost with the universe. This is about your manifestations coming true. Let's look at this chaos and conflict and see what it's about, Taurus. All right. Family issues, family ties, maybe soulmate energy, but it is about the family. So maybe this conflict is within the family. It's regarding a justice situation or a situation in which the scales don't seem balanced. And it could be a Libra too. Like I said, Libra is big in this reading, I'm feeling. This could, this could be a court situation. If it is, I think it turns out good for you. Someone is finding out that they don't have to leave. They don't have to leave and they're not gonna leave. And then we have the King of Wands. This is the action king. So we have the King and Queen of Wands and the Three of Cups. Celebration. So look, I think there's something about this celebration and what you're creating that people don't think is fair. People might think or attribute your success to luck, and it's not. It's work. It's hard work and what you've put into it. So don't doubt yourself here. You got a lot of fire. You have Libra. Um, then you have the uh, King of Pentacles, too. Really good. Good sign there for your outcome. All right, Taurus, sending you love and light. Thanks, guys.